Hello everyone, my name is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am super pumped because I'm doing my very first 24 hour readathon. I'm doing this readathon as a part of the booktube games. I'm on Team Hogwarts and this week is the challenge to do a 24 hour readathon. And if I complete this challenge, I will get an extra 100 pages added to my total pages read for this month. So just to kind of give you a rundown of how I plan on doing my readathon, I am starting right at midnight and then I will go until midnight tomorrow night. So my first priority is finishing Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. I am on page 302 at the moment so I have just about 100 pages left to go. This will be the first book that I read right at midnight. I'm actually in the middle of filming a reading vlog dedicated to this book. I won't include all of my thoughts about this book in this vlog and I will link my Throne of Glass reading vlog down below. So yeah, once I get this done, I am planning on reading my first manga ever, and that is Sailor Moon Volume 1. I have wanted to read manga for a very long time now, and I thought that reading a story that I'm kind of familiar with would be a good way for me to get into the genre. And I typically read graphic novels pretty quickly, so I don't think I'll have any issue getting through this in the 24 hours. And during this 24 hour period, I'm also planning on listening to a bit of an audiobook, just because I want to make sure that I'm reading different formats of books so I don't get burnt out. The audiobook I'm listening to is Geekerella by Ashley Poston. I don't know much about this book, but pretty much every booktuber that I know pretty much gives this a five star rating. I know that it is obviously a Cinderella retelling and it has to do with like a comic con I think. So I'm really looking forward to reading this while I'm putting away laundry and I'm thinking of also reorganizing my bookshelves if I get burnt out on physically reading any books. And then this last book is a big chunky brick so I definitely don't plan on finishing it during this 24 hours but I want to at least get a couple hundred pages done and that is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. This is the third and final book in the Dark Artifices trilogy and I'm really excited about this book but I'm also kind of scared because pretty much everyone I follow has been kind of disappointed by this book in one way or another so I am a little bit scared to get into this but yeah it's time. So yeah that is my TBR for my 24 hour readathon and I will update you guys in a bit. And we are only two hours into my readathon and I have just finished my first book. I just finished Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass, and so far I have read 102 pages during this readathon so I think that's a pretty good start. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit some videos. I need to edit some clips for my Throne of Glass reading vlog and I need to start editing this vlog as well. And so after I get some editing done I think I'm going to start listening to the audiobook for Geekerella while I put away my laundry and reorganize my bookshelves a little bit and then after that I think I'm either going to dive into Sailor Moon or start Queen of Air and Darkness I'm not sure yet what I want to do uh, the main goal is just make sure that I don't get burnt out at all so yeah I will update you guys in a bit Hey guys, it is just about 5 a.m. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. So um, I have listened to about 25% of Geekerella and I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, I'm liking the twist to the Cinderella story that we have going on. And then I've also read about 80 pages of Sailor Moon. And um, just like I thought, this is a very quick read. Fortunately, I'm gonna have to stop for a little while because um, I definitely need to at least take a little nap. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I knew I wasn't going to be able to go through the complete 24 hours without sleeping at all. Um, so I'm hoping to take a nap for a couple of hours and um, then I will update you guys next time I get some reading done. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Extra points if you get that reference. Hey guys, it is just about 1 p.m. on Wednesday and I wanted to give you guys a reading update. So as you saw from the previous clip, I went to bed at about 5 a.m. and I woke up at 10 a.m. So not too bad, I only slept for about four or five hours. And when I woke up, I decided to take a shower, which was actually a really good decision because I forgot that showers really wake me up and I was really excited to get back into reading. So I've been reading since about 10.30 and I I have now read about 100 pages of Queen of Air and Darkness. To be exact, I am on page 106. And that is actually quite an accomplishment because it takes me quite a bit of time and effort to get through any chunk of Cassandra Clare's books. I'm not really sure why, but none of her books are all that quick of reads for me personally. So the fact that I've already read about 100 pages of This Big Brick is pretty good. And I think what I'm going to do now is go eat some lunch and maybe decompress for a little bit 
and then I will come back here and do some more reading and I will update you then. Hey guys, it is just about 6 p.m. and I thought I would give you yet another reading update. A little while ago I finished Sailor Moon Volume 1 and I really enjoyed this one. I gave it three stars. I think it was a pretty good introduction to this entire manga series and I'm interested to see how the story gets more complex as the series goes along. I think my only gripe about this book is that I wish we would get more of an origin story as to how Usagi becomes Sailor Moon because in this story she essentially meets Luna who is a black cat that talks to her and Luna gives her this tool that she can use to transform and so she just immediately transforms into Sailor Moon and then goes on to immediately beat a villain and it just happened so fast and I think it's just a bit too unbelievable if that makes sense. So yeah I think overall it was a solid start to this manga series and I'm really looking forward to reading the next issue pretty soon. So then after that I started cleaning up my room a little bit and cleaning up my bathroom and so while I was doing that I was listening to to the audiobook for Geekerella by Ashley Poston and I got to just about the halfway mark which is really great. So just to kind of give you a plot synopsis this book follows Elle who is essentially Cinderella and she works at this food truck called the Magic Pumpkin and she's really obsessed with this show called Starfield which is kind of like Star Trek. And then her love interest is this guy Darian who is actually an actor and he has been brought on to play one of the main characters in the Starfield reboot. And so Elle and Darian kind of end up texting each other and getting to know each other better. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this book and I'm really enjoying the audiobook. The only gripe that I have is the voice actor that they have to voice Darian, who is Elle's love interest. I just feel like he sounds way too old because both Elle and Darian are supposed to be 18, but the guy that they have voicing Darian sounds like he's at least 30. So I think that's just a bit of an odd choice. But other than that, I am really enjoying it so far. Yeah, that's it for now. We only have about six hours left to this readathon, which is just crazy. But I've done quite a bit of reading and I'm really pleased with myself. So I think for the rest of the readathon, I'm going to focus mainly on Queen of Air and Darkness. My ultimate goal is to get to about page 200 which shouldn't be an issue because I'm already on page 106 so I think I will be able to reach that goal by midnight. I will talk to you guys after the readathon is over. And just like that I am finally done with my very first 24-hour readathon and I have to say I think it went really well. So let's wrap up everything that I read during this 24-hour readathon. I started with reading the last 102 pages of Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass and and I really enjoyed this book. I gave it four stars. If you want to hear all of my thoughts on this book, I actually did a completely separate reading vlog just about this book. So I will definitely link that down below. Then I read volume one of Sailor Moon and I gave this three stars. I was also able to listen to 50% of the audiobook for Geekerella by Ashley Poston. Basically what I did was if I ever felt myself getting burnt out with physically reading a book, I would turn on the audiobook while I was either cleaning my bathroom or I don't know if you you guys can tell but I have actually rearranged the shelf quite a bit. So I definitely recommend listening to an audiobook while doing some chores or something like that. You are still getting a lot of reading done but you are also giving your brain a little bit of a break. And during this last chunk of the readathon I was able to read 107 more pages of Queen of Air and Darkness so I am now on page 213 and I am very happy that I have been able to read a really good chunk of this brick of a book. I am really enjoying this book so far. Cassandra Clare's books just are a little bit of a slower read for me personally so the fact that I was able to read such a good chunk of this book in one day is just a really great accomplishment for me and yeah overall I'm really pleased with how much I was able to read. I read a grand total of 716 pages. I am honestly just so proud of myself because I have never attempted to do anything like this before and I didn't really know how it was gonna go. I hoped that it was going to go well but I really didn't know. So the fact that I was able to read so many pages in one day is just crazy to me. So that is going to be it for my very first 24-hour readathon. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope that you would consider subscribing and don't forget to push that notification bell button below so that you will be notified every time I upload. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!